Uh, hello there people, uh, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my Let's Replay Panzer General. Yeah, I think the time has come for me to take another shot at the grand campaign. I want to do better this time. There are certain things that, you know, really have to improve uh, certain things to show you that can be done and I was not able to do it on my first try and well you'll see what I mean um, I will change my tactics a little bit so let us start with the campaign too bad we have to go through Poland and again and of course Warsaw I would just prefer to start in Norway but you know, cannot happen. Uh, yeah, not much common thing uh, as far as uh, the first two scenarios are concerned, since you, I believe, know more than I do about this first two, you know, after watching all of the LPRs. So this is what we are facing. Now we'll turn, of course, hidden units on and start by attacking this cavalry. Pretty nice. We'll attack again, of course. Again a nice result and for the last time or perhaps we could use an infantry. Yeah, so we'll have well let us wait and see what happens here with the second cavalry. And this is the devil I'm talking about, so we'll attack. Yes, we have fired first. The cavalry has not retreated, but this was actually a very good luck. And now we'll attack it again with our transport. This could be costly still. Ouch! Now please destroy. No, no distraction, too bad. But now at least I know what to do. We'll send one inf here to assist us in taking over the city of Kalitz. Or maybe... Hmm... Or maybe... Okay, we can actually attack this cavalry with our artillery in a transport. Yeah, this is what we'll do. So now we are in range of this infantry here. This tank will go... Well, let us see. Okay. This tank... will go... here. This inf here. These two infs here and here. So later, you know, we can still send this one to assist around the city of Kalitz if necessary and now the last inf will go here we will not purchase anything on the first turn since I am counting on taking over the city of Kalitz this usually works you know in like 90% of attempts and I'm hoping that I will not suffer some extremely bad luck so here we go, let us give the enemy its turn. X is turn 2, 9 turns remaining. Okay. Now what? Now, we'll try to deal with the artillery that we all know is here. So, here we go. 
Damn it, the bastard fired first. Good thing we have more imps, so now we'll use this one. Please force it to retreat, this artillery, I mean. Wonderful. Now we'll cross the river and scout a little bit. Mm. I'm waiting for a cavalry to pop up out. Ah, here it is, okay. Uh, very nice. Okay, now for this artillery here. Oh shit, I was hoping that after attacking this imp we could reach uh, this imp here, but I was wrong. So, silly Mr. Critic. Okay, still, let us stick to the plan. Shell this imp. Ooh, nice, 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 very nice. And we cross the river. Now what happens if we attack uh, this inf? Here we go. Bloody rugged defense. Ouch. Well, at least we've destroyed, you know, one strength of this imp, and now our tactic space off, since uh, we have another infantry in the area. Come on. No rugged defense this time. We have forced the imp to retreat. Now we'll take over uh, the city of Kalitz. Okay. And now I'm actually wondering whether or not to go for this artillery. Or we should perhaps actually place... yeah, yeah. We will bring our tank here actually. Uh, also cross the river with our inf and purchase two new tanks here and here. Yeah. That's the way to go. What do we purchase? These two tanks are pretty much of the same quality, however, this one has a spotting of 3, so we'll go for Panzer 38, not Panzer 3E. So here you go. And you. Good. Now our tank will cross the river, of course. Um, one bad thing about this scenario is also that you really cannot be sure where the main resistance will take place. No, it's or or you know one one or the other, Kutno or Lots, and. If we go here, one, two, three, four, five. So we are in a position to. Well, this is better, I believe. Now the inf. And another inf. And now this inf in a transport will move here. Nothing else to purchase. Let us give the enemy its turn again. Ooh. A tank has arrived. But 
but it went pretty well for us. So it's X is turn 3. And... Well... We st we're still doing pretty well, but now I will have to take a little pause, not to think, but, you know, to... to powder my nose. Sorry. Be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Uh, much better, thank you for asking. <laughs> Now I would like to show you a little trick which is especially useful when you are playing Panzer General forever since the enemy there is... well the AI is much smarter than in the original so if you can place your units close to the victory objectives well to any objective to be completely honest but still you prevent the enemy from purchasing new units and this can be extremely useful so let us now where can we move uh huh i see entrenchment of five this is actually too good an opportunity to miss this will be risky a bit, but with two infantries at full strength, I believe we can now make a huge difference. So come on, we attack. Yes, lovely. And he's out. Ladies and gentlemen, the enemy is out. So now we can take over this victory objective and also destroy this inf immediately very good now this is actually a mixed blessing I was planning to show you how to approach the objective with you know a tank that the enemy is quite, uh, you know, incapable of pushing away, but somehow, you know, <laughs> but, but you know what I mean, place a unit next to an objective, the enemy cannot purchase new units, and therefore, you're safe, otherwise it can happen something bad, uh, something bad can happen, I mean, um, the enemy can, I don't know, purchase an artillery, then some anti-tank guns, and you have a fort suddenly, and without Luftwaffe, and without very useful artillery. Well, let us just say that things are not that, you know, bright. Uh, is that the right word? I'm sorry. No, I had a birthday and a party. Come on, I forgot a couple of English words. I barely remember my name and everything, so... <laughs> Okay, so what now? I think we can, mm, if we attack this cavalry, yeah, we will attack this cavalry now and see what happens. Come on. Whoa! No! <laughs> ah, God damn it! I was hoping, you know, for a worse result. I know it sounds strange, but you know, to destroy this cavalry with our infant now, I have no freaking idea what to do. Entrenchment uh, of five. Ah, oh, damn it! More risk taking. Well, one thing I know for sure is that even if we attack this infantry and get a rugged defense, we can still protect our inf with our artillery. So, yeah, here we go. Here goes nothing. Come on. Yes! And 
just to spite this punk will bring our artillery here since we do not have to support our inf but by placing our artillery here we prevent it from getting you know um, really cool reinforcements <laughs> and since we are planning to disband this artillery well in Norway we can do it and one more thing last but not least uh, we have no useful position for it at the moment since it has only a range of range 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 of two so here we go and no will not attack I'm not feeling that lucky my friends okay now we destroy this artillery Bam. And now let us deal with the tank. Zero four. If we attack it again, what happens? Says zero one, and we do have to bring at least two infantry, probably more here, since we also have a surviving cavalry in the area. So let us do it again, yet again. Shitty result. One more tank. You know what? This actually sucks. I'm tempted to end this video right here, right now, but no. So, okay. Now we have to use our tank. And he's still alive. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> We should probably let this unit survive, but this one we will give uh, we will give a little replacement, and you you mm, what to do with you? Do we destroy this tank? Or do we come closer? Or do we actually give a little replacements? Mm. <laughs> we come closer. Usually it is a good idea, you know, to destroy crippled uh, enemy units, but I want to take over all of the objectives, also the non-victory ones, so, yeah. My choice, my bet, if I'm wrong. Uh, what to do with this inf here? We'll cross the river. Too bad we are not in a position to cross, you know, in a way that we can reach the city of Osorko on the, net, on the next turn, but still. Uh, time to give the enemy its turn. X is turn 4, 7 turns remaining. Uh, lovely. Now we... Now we... What do we do actually? Uh, now... We can scout a little bit. To see if there are newly purchased units in the area. No. Uh, so... This is our maximum reach, so again my bad people. Sorry. Uh, but, 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 but. Okay, movement cost 8. Yeah, so we'll 
shell this inf and move either here or here perhaps I should have checked what was happening around the city of Kutna first my bad again uh, can we reach this city no we cannot reach uh, this city with our tank so after we destroy uh, so three four five six so after we destroy this imp we will have to actually take over the city with our imp okay so here we go yet another uh, I mean, yet another objective is ours. Uh, now, uh, here I don't feel comfortable about attacking, so... Let us bring our inf... You know, just closer. Not attack immediately. And another inf closer. The rule of a thumb is, in my honest opinion, to to have at least, um, you know, at least uh, two units available for a, for an attack, just in case, uh, you know, we, we get rugged defense and everything. So, so what to do with our tanks? One can go here. Hua. Another cavalry, and this means that our other tank will go here as well. Okay, now for the north, what happens if we move our infantry here? Says 3 4, so we will not immediately attack, or per no, 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 again, Mr. Critic, come on, focus. First, let us find out what's happening around the city of Kutno. Ah, here we go. Attack. Okay. I think we still have to let this tank, you know, survive. Just so the enemy will spend uh, more prestige uh, for bringing it back to full strength. And also to prevent the enemy from purchasing more units, um, you know, around the city of Kutna. So here we go. Attack. Some, so uh, so <laughs> sometimes it is good, you know, to follow your own advice. One infantry will come closer, though, near the city of Posen, and then stay put. The same reason as you know um, for um, well, for for what I was telling you guys. Uh, Keep one unit close in order to prevent the enemy from getting reinforcements. Uh, this tank, however, we can place. Uh, we can place here in the woods, perhaps. I have to check something. Um, can a unit be placed on this hex? No, I'm fearing. A presence of a cavalry. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You get elite. You get elite. That's it. This tank um, 
can cross. Whoa! 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 My bad, but at least now we know where the cavalry is. Damn it! I'm just hoping we won't lose a tank now, since it's out of ammo. So you can come closer, so we can deal with this inf in the city of Posen. You can. Cross the river, and again we will give the enemy its turn. Yeah, this is the problem, you know, with early. Whoa! I just wanted to explain that this is the problem with the early German tank models that are that are, you know, pretty shitty versus anti-tank guns, but. This was some excellent luck. So now we have to take over the city of Posen immediately. So here we go. Let us attack. Two five. No ragged defense, please. Yeah. The unit has retreated. Now we take over this city and destroy this inf. Very nice. Now what to do with this inf? Nothing for the time being. First we'll need to deal with um, this cavalry. So the best way to go I believe is to attack it with our tank first. Says zero 04. Come on, come on, come on. Wow. Lovely. Now we can destroy it with our inf. Or maybe with this one. No. Cannot reach the cavalry. So, okay, now we attack again. and give a lead to our tank that is out of ammo and not at full strength any longer what to do here well a head-on attack is a bad idea as you can see but we can attack this inf and also bring another inf closer this is exactly what we'll do Says zero three. Good luck, please. Yeah, so 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 so. But what you can see is we are staying close to the city of Kutno. Okay, now this thing com com comes closer. Now for this Polish infantry here. <coughs> first, first, let us deal with this cavalry. Attack. Okay, now we'll risk attacking this inf with our inf. Why we choose this one? Because we can retreat if things go badly. No, it went excellent! Lovely luck! Lady luck is on our side. Uh, so... We move our infantry here. So we are in a position to attack this inf on the next turn. Now we also, just give me a chance here, what happens, oh, we cannot bring anything closer, well, not close enough, I mean this inf. Uh, so 
so so so so mm. perhaps this was my bad um, perhaps I should have you know uh, kept this space uh, this hex free for for this tank but I don't know let us destroy this inf take over the non-victory objective of Ozorkov Now to deal with the last of the non-victory objectives, the city of Ber Berzinie, Berzi sorry, you know, Polish language, language is uh, sometimes difficult even, even for us Slavic people, so, okay, okay, so artillery can come here, inf here and our last inf here now I think it's time to save and I will have to take another pause this time is a it's a coffee break so no more Kursk Poland 001 be right back uh, yo I'm back uh, there is one thing I was never sure about um, so please those of you who know uh, this if you get a minor victory in Poland and a major one in Warsaw do you still go to Norway or do you need to have major victories both in Pol Poland and Warsaw to go to Norway you know what I mean uh, and I'm not kidding now I really don't know because uh, I never took a minor in Poland. <laughs> Ever! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Critic, just keep bragging. Bastard. <laughs> okay, uh, let us give the enemy its turn. Okay. We are under attack! Stupid tank. Okay, X is turn 6 with 5 turns remaining. Uh, now we'll have to deal with this tank. What is going Oh, cavalry crossing the river hex. Lovely. It will die now. But first, like I said, let us deal with this tank. 1 1 again. No, that's not good. No, it wasn't us. It was them, the warriors. Just kidding, guys. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> let us... Let us kill this guy here. Oh. And let us use our stronger tank for the job. So here we go. Out of ammo, I think. Yep. Didn't know that. But as you have seen by now, I often miss uh, you no know, important information. So says zero one. Come on. God damn it! Now he will be back to full strength since I 
really do not feel like placing our infantry in a transport here or here because of this inf. So we go here, we give this infantry elite replacements and we will try to bring this to closer but I believe they will miss the, you know, the last part of this battle. Now let us shell this imp that now has an entrenchment of 7 in the city of Barzizieni. Uh, where can we move after? Here. <coughs> okay, shell. Good. We move here. Now attack with our imp. Wow, one star of experience. Lovely. Attack. Three suppressed. We go here. So we are kind of crossing the river here. Although it will take us two more turns to actually reach the victory objective of Kutno from behind. Which is the way some people like it. <laughs> Not that there is anything wrong with that, of course. Um, okay, so... Hmm. Coffee good. Okay, so... What can we do now? Well, one thing I'm sure of is we first have to attack this cavalry. We'll probably force it to retreat. Uh, this inf cannot reach anything important. Okay, so here, let us start. We attack this cavalry. Nah. Now at least I know what to do. Now we'll destroy this inf and send this one north and use this tank to attack probably this cavalry but first thing first destroy this inf good now if we attack this cavalry and force it to retreat it will be able to reinforce But if we do not attack it, attack this one instead, this cavalry will not be able to move past this swamp. At least I think so. So, here we go. Damn it, we had such good luck, you know, in the previous turns and suddenly now ah, everything is going to hell. <laughs> now again let us give the enemy its turn X is turn 7 with 4 turns remaining I believe this is the last turn for a major victory or the next one no I think it's the next one but since I'm not sure you know we'll try to take over the city of Kutno immediately uh, but of course first we'll shell uh, this cavalry. Do we have to shell it? Three units in the area? Well, I get the feeling that this cavalry will survive. This one will not though. So okay, let us shell this cavalry. And move across the river. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Now for this anti tank gun here. We have plenty of infantry in the area. Three of them close enough to attack. So, first, I believe we should start with this one. 
Five suppressed. Lovely. So we can now bring yet yet another inf into the action. Uh, but which one? Um, this one is stronger. This one has more movement points available. So okay, this one. Come on. Please kill him. Oh, three suppressed. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Three suppressed and I'm not impressed. Uh, okay, I have an idea. If we attack from here, we can destroy this cavalry and also make room for our tanks to attack this one. Okay, not a bad idea, I think. But first, let us deal with this inf. Come on. Now for the tank. Um, what's our reach? Only here, so... Don't think we'll be able to destroy this tank on this very turn. One thing I will do, uh, because I'm really not sure, I think we have one more turn for a major victory. So one thing I will do is uh, save after moving all of the units except for one to take over uh, this victory objective of Kutna. And then we'll see. So... You tank will now perish, or if you prefer Die. Come on. Swamp rules. I hate swamp rules. Now we'll move here. Attack again. suppressed so again we can bring our infantry even closer uh, now for these two cavalries uh, these guys kind of worry me so what if we destroy this cavalry first Maybe move here and then just checking if somebody is behind our lines. No. Uh, we can move here, destroy this cavalry. Or maybe we can advance with our tank. Yeah, we will advance with our tank first. Okay. And we have yet another tank. Five suppressed. Not what I was hoping for. You can come closer. You, well... You are out of luck. You won't be able to do anything else, so... You may as well move here. One more unit to move. Uh, now we will save Poland. Uh, zero, zero, 002. And now we'll try to attack and destroy this tank. But if I was wrong and we do not get a major victory after this turn, then, you know, I will load it uh, the game again and, you know, try again. So. Here we go. 
this tank is now out of ammo and we have forced it to retreat uh, and turn okay uh, so now let us save on Poland 003 I just want to see if you know the whole uh, the whole idea worked or not so first we'll shell this inf Lovely. Now we'll attack this cavalry. One, two. Good enough for me. We'll attack it again. Zero, four. One star of experience for us, yes. Now we'll finish off this cavalry. Now we'll deal with this inf. Ah, I hate rugged defense, come on. Do some damage. Okay. Lovely. Uh huh. Ah, this guy's again out of ammo. Wonderful. Okay, what can we do now? Um need to think about it for a little bit. Uh, sure, we can attack again, uh, but we have another inf here, and uh, I would also very much like to take care of this tank. So, yeah, so here we go. First, we'll attack the tank. Come on. Swamp rules again. Now we move, um, where do we move actually? Here I believe, uh, yeah, we do, attack, excellent, okay. Let us save again on, of course, Poland 003. Uh, and also cheat a little bit to see if there are perhaps other units around. No. So here we go. Can we destroy at least most of the enemy units? Um, my guess is actually yes. Um, so first we'll destroy this one. Die. And now, um, uh, now we can go. Do we attack this tank? Zero two, it says, or do we go for this anti-tank gun? Uh, for this tank, I'm pretty sure what it will do in the end. It will take over this victory objective of Kutna. So, mm. so this is now our dilemma. If we attack this tank and it doesn't work, well, then we are not in a position to attack this anti-tank gun. But you know. Uh, we will have to take over 
uh, the victory objective of Kutna anyway, so let us try with our stronger infantry. So this is the one. Come on. Lovely. And since says zero two, I'm not sure about the prestige uh, in the next video, but yeah, I was saying uh, very often that it is more important to get more experience than more prestige. So. Um, let us attack this anti-tank uh, gun as well. Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. 40 of prestige versus... What do you think, guys? Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, you know, I used... Uh, well, almost tossed the coin. But no, we'll take over the last victory objective. And this is it. X is major victory. Uh, review the battlefield overcast on the next on the last turn uh, casualties uh, destroyed 11 infantry, one tank one artillery lost nothing uh, so yeah very good again I had mostly good luck uh, during this first scenario and I'm looking forward to doing war show oh it says done looking uh, <laughs> done, okay, done looking. So I'm hoping for war show, maybe not tomorrow, perhaps the day after tomorrow, since tomorrow I'm really planning to continue with the LP of Panzer course. God giving, or as my good friend and uh, co LPR, God is bullshit, uh, don't you see, would say. Uh, flying spaghetti monsters willing, uh, will, you know, do. <laughs> An LP of Panzer Corps tomorrow, otherwise, Warship tomorrow. Uh, so, okay, and confirm, we save, and now it's well, now it's Warship zero, z uh, z oh, sorry, zero, zero, one. Okay, major victory. Yeah, you can read it. Success in the phase in phase one. Um, okay. Uh, I will not continue now. Uh, so thank you for watching this. All the best from Mr. Critic, and bye bye.